In this lesson, we're going to talk about cholecystitis. So let's break this word down just a bit so that we understand it. Itis, we know, means inflammation. Now, in the GU section, we mentioned that cysto means some sort of bladder. And anytime we see the word cole, think gallbladder. So cholecystitis is inflammation of the gallbladder. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. Remember from anatomy that the purpose of the gallbladder is to store and secrete bile into the duodenum. Now bile specifically helps in the digestion of fats. So keep that in mind as we go forward. Now patients with cholecystitis are going to have difficulty digesting and processing high fat meals. So the most common cause is gallstones or cholelithiasis, which is crystallized bile salts. So you can see here on this ultrasound, if we look at this, that there's thickening around the outside of the gallbladder, that's the inflammation. And there's also stones on the inside. You can see these little stones in here. So these stones cause a lot of irritation and can even block the bile duct. So there's also a couple autoimmune conditions that can cause uh, recurrent cholecystitis. So it can be acute or chronic depending on the cause. Patients are gonna come in, they're gonna report nausea and vomiting. Now, those are pretty general symptoms, right? So we need to dig in a little deeper when our patients report nausea and vomiting and try to get deeper into these symptoms. So we'll see that they have severe right upper quadrant pain. Now it tends to be worse about two to four hours after they eat a high fat meal. That's when the food is making its way into the duodenum. And the pain is gonna last for a couple hours, one to three hours. When you're doing your initial assessment, we have to do a full detailed pain assessment. That's why it's really important to understand when did the pain start? How long did it last? What was the location? Because with that information, we're now getting a good picture that this could be a patient with cholecystitis. You might also see something that's called Murphy's sign. Now this is pretty specific to gallbladder and liver disease. So it again helps us to know what we're dealing with. So what you'll do is you press your fingers or hand up under the ribs on the right side upper quadrant and ask them to take a deep breath. If the pain is so bad that they can't even breathe in fully, that's gonna be a positive Murphy's sign. Now, and lastly, we also do rebound tenderness. This is when you press on their right upper quadrant and then release, and the pain is actually worse when you release than it was with the initial pressure. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN, click the link in the description below, or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.